One Buffalo company is looking to change the narrative when it comes to something many of us consider to be a disability. And the effort is all coming from someone who's living that life firsthand. 7 News reporter Taylor Epps is live showing us the big statement that this new clothing line is hoping to make. Hi Taylor, good morning. Ed, Katie, good morning to you. Like most of us, when I start my day, I like to pick out my outfit to match what I have to do for the day. So today, I'm wearing a blue dress to match my backdrop here on Main Street. But I met one local fashion brand owner who told me something new about fashion and showed me her plans to make fashion a more accessible for everyone. How did you develop your look? Maybe it's a t-shirt and jeans or a signature leather jacket, the fashion piece that makes someone say, hey, nice outfit. Well, it's a conversation Ray Zielinski never gets to have. But I'll get asked a lot is like, well, you're visually impaired. What do you care what you look like? It's like, what, what are you talking about? Since losing his vision early in life, picking the right outfit isn't on his to-do list. <laughs> Shamelessly, I, I rely on my family and the female members of my family to absolutely drive that bus. Um, I have no idea about fashion. But now, because of a new brand, his closet is expanding with clothes that have texture and meaning. It's pretty high quality. So what you see here is literally what Braille looks like. This t-shirt is from iDesign, spelled A-I-L-L-E, a new brand based in Buffalo with a specific goal. We're really looking to build a platform to truly bring accessibility into fashion at the mainstream level. It started as a research project for Alexa Yovanovitch when she was studying fashion. I was out looking for inspiration, window shopping as I often do, and I came across this really beautiful beaded jacket and I just kind of had this aha moment. Why couldn't we rearrange all these beads ever so slightly to make a beautiful jacket that had empowering messages? Messages like fashion is for everyone and diversity includes disability. Well, now you know what these shirts say, but there's a reason that text is only in Braille on their clothing. It really encourages you to start that conversation, to inquire. One of the first comments that we ever get is, oh my God, wait, what? This is Braille? They think it's cool. Typically, you don't hear the word disability and cool. Yovanovitch says it was important she worked with visually impaired groups like VIA, Visually Impaired Advancement here in Buffalo, to design these pieces and sell them on their online shop for people with all abilities, designing more than just clothes. All of our hangers are completely customizable, so whether it's just um, brailing your name or being able to braille something very specific that you know will help you identify a piece. Zelensky tells me he's used to people making adjustments for him, but with eye design, it's different. It was thought of in the foreground. Accessibility and diversity should be thought of first. Because fashion is for everyone and it's time that our industry knows it. So I'm standing here on Main Street because iDesign has a shirt with this message, Keep Buffalo a Secret. It's in collaboration with Oxford Pennant. Now, they also have everything from pocket squares to a dress that took two years to design. It describes the color blue from the perspective of 10 visually impaired women. You can find all of that and more on their online shop. We've got the link for you on our website at WKBW.com. For now, we're live in Buffalo. Taylor Epps, 7 News. So really, somebody who can't see is now using Braille on the yeah. clothing to say, oh, this is blue. This oh. is what blue looks like. Fashion for everyone. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, great story, Taylor. Thank you.